and as President Trump said at Mount Rushmore. We've also stood against those who would, in his words, wipe out our history, defame our heroes, and erase our values. But the truth is, Joe Biden and today's Democratic Party have been giving in to the most radical voices in this country, voices that want to cancel our culture and erase our history. On this Columbus Day, we should remember that day earlier this year when radicals toppled the Christopher Columbus statue in Baltimore's Inner Harbor, beheaded the statue of the great explorer in Boston. And here in Columbus, Ohio, last summer in the dead of night, your Democrat mayor took down the statue of Christopher Columbus outside City Hall. And he did that despite the fact that proud Italian-American families like the Sabco family actually paid to import that statue from Italy 65 years ago. And folks, it's still going on. I don't know if you saw the news this morning, but last night, violent protesters in Portland tore down statues of Abraham Lincoln and Teddy Roosevelt. You know, the truth is, as the President has said, today the radical left is determined to tear down every statue, symbol, and memory of our national heritage. But the American people are strong and proud. We will not allow our country and all its history and culture to be taken away from us. That's one more reason why we need four more years of President Donald Trump in the White House. You know, when you look at their agenda, tearing down our economy, tearing down our institutions, tearing down our history, it's clear. Joe Biden would be nothing more than a Trojan horse for the radical left. Now, Joe Biden has said that democracy is on the ballot. Well, I think our economic recovery is on the ballot. Law and order are on the ballot. But there are also things far more foundational to our country that are on the ballot as well. In this election, I think it's not going to be uh, not going to be whether America will end up more conservative or more liberal, more red or more blue, more Republican or more Democrat. I think the choice in this election is whether America remains America. Whether we're going to allow Joe Biden and the Democratic Party to steer our nation on a leftward path toward more government, less freedom, and abandonment of our most cherished ideals and history, or whether we're going to reaffirm our commitment to everything that's always made America great. So I want to say to each and every one of you here, three weeks and one day away from Election Day, for our freedom and all the ideals that have made this nation exceptional and great. We need to decide right here and right now that Joe Biden will never be President of the United States of America. We're going to re-elect President Donald Trump for four more years. It's on, Ohio. It's going to take all of us. Ohio always looms large in presidential elections all throughout our history. And that's just as true today. So we need you to tell your neighbors and friends. Just say, hey, I was over at Sabco and Sons the other day. I ran into Mike. And he was telling me we need four more years. And if they say to you, what's that mean? Say, well, four more years means more jobs. Four more years means more judges. Four more years means more support for our troops and our police. And you tell them, I said, it's going to take at least four more years to drain that swamp.
Oh, we're draining it. You know, four years ago, four years ago, a movement was born, a movement of everyday Americans from every walk of life. Here in Ohio, you believed we could be strong again. You believed we could be prosperous again. You believe America could be proud again, stand tall in the world again. You said yes to President Donald Trump in 2016. And I know the Buckeye State's going to say yes to four more years of President Donald Trump in 2020. You know, I've really only known this president for about four years. We'd met each other a couple of times along the way, but when I met him before he asked me to join this ticket, I, I sensed what you did four years ago. I sensed a vision a belief in America, a belief in the American people, and the leadership qualities to make it happen. I joined that ticket in a heartbeat. You know, some people think we're kind of different. But I got to tell you, we've gotten to be very close friends. It's the greatest honor of my life to be Vice President to President Donald Trump. It is. And I thank you for the honor. But I want to tell you something. I've seen it firsthand. I've been at his side every day for the last three and a half years. And I'll make you a promise, even when the cameras are off and nobody's around, there's not a day gone by that President Donald Trump hasn't gotten up and fought to keep the promises that he made to the people of Ohio. Now it's our turn to fight for him. It's on, Ohio. We got to bring it. We got to bring it. So keep bringing all this enthusiasm. Keep voicing your support. Talk about all that we've accomplished all across the Buckeye State, all across America. Let me give you a couple of tasks. Number one, vote. Ohio, vote to re-elect President Donald Trump. I actually heard that the early starting's already vote, started here. Early voting? In fact, I checked on my way here. You can actually leave from here and go to the Franklin County Board of Elections at 1700 Morse Road. They're open till 5 o'clock today. Go and vote to re-elect President Donald Trump, and remember, friends, don't let friends vote alone. Bring a friend. Get it done. Get it done early, then we need you to go to work. You need to reach out to your neighbors and friends and tell them what's at stake in this election. Volunteer your time. Make some phone calls. Knock on a few doors. Do everything you can. And finally, uh, if you're of a mind to bow the head and bend the knee from time to time in the next three weeks and one day, I'd encourage you to do that, too. You know, in all of my travels over the last four years, I'm convinced of two things. America is a freedom-loving nation. 